Tonight on Little House on the Prairie, Laura and Albert help make a dying boy's dream of seeing the ocean come true. Followed by the world premiere of Fast Friends. What price will three young women pay to find success at the top? Both tonight. Tomorrow, see Super Stunt 2, a thrill-packed special with Burt Reynolds. And Wednesday, don't miss Killers of the Plains, narrated by Michael Landon. Next on Days of Our Lives, will Stephanie's desperate act succeed in keeping her real identity a secret? All on NBC. is NBC News Update with Edwin Newman. Good day. Republican leaders in Congress called today for the appointment of an energy administrator with broad powers. They said Secretary of Energy Schlesinger cannot cut through red tape and is shackled by an impossible policy. The Supreme Court today agreed to rule on whether labor unions can be held legally responsible for wildcat strikes. In western Iran, 170 persons have been killed in fighting between two Muslim sects, one of them the Ayatollah Khomeini's. Many in the other sect want to break away from Iran. In Israel, hundreds of thousands of workers went on a four-hour strike today because of inflation, which last year in Israel was 48 percent. The feminist leader, Kate Millett, deported by Iran, arrived in Paris today. Millett said the new Iranian regime's policies toward women are ridiculous and oppressive. Edwin Newman, NBC News, New York. Three action shows in one suspense-filled hour. In the next chilling chapter of Dracula 79, will the Count make merry into his creature of darkness? Can she resist his passion and power? Dracula 79 plus Stop Susan Williams and the Secret Empire. Tuesday, they don't call them cliffhangers for nothing.